to Salvation Hour this lovely Wednesday evening in January 2022. Salvation Hour, for those of you who don't know, is a time when we go on a journey on purpose. And it predicates on Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, where the Bible tells us that God makes all things beautiful in his time. And he's put eternity in the heart of man. And it goes on to say, I'm paraphrasing, that who can fathom the works of God from the beginning to the end? And that the fact that there's that God-shaped gaping hole in the heart of man reveals the mystery and the quest for something greater than us that only he that is greater than us can fill. And people go searching to fill that void with things that don't satisfy. And the yearning remains, drugs, alcohol, the excesses of life don't fill that void. Only God can. And so in discovering, in going on the journey to discover destiny and purpose, we, 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 we lay hold of that need of the moment that propels you to be in the center of the will of he who loves you enables you to partner with him to know the good plans he has in place for you because your walk of life today may not necessarily be reflective of God's best for you and to consider um, the, the, the journey of discovering destiny and purpose today will take the topic wisdom and understanding you know in my short walk and journey in life I found that very few people are wise very few. Wisdom is an attribute that we can only find from the greater one. And we'll look at a few scriptures in the Bible to help us define wisdom and give us, give us an idea as to where wisdom emanates from and how we can acquire and manifest and walk in true wisdom. There are a few people in my life I, 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 I attribute as wise. The man of God of my life is one of those few people. So let's look at Job chapter 28 verse 29. It tells us, and to, to man he said, behold the fear of the Lord that is wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding wow the fear of the lord is wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding wow that's deep so therefore do you want to be wise you need to fear the lord do you want understanding understanding true understanding because many a time the understanding people have is peripheral just understanding of you know gathering information here and there but the deep things of life very few understand it's when we depart from evil the bible says that we actually have understanding another scripture in proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 this one's awesome it tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom again. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Wow. So do you want wisdom? Again, fear the Lord. And it's not a fear of, oh, he's an evil God, he's going to kill me. He's evil, you know. No, no, no. It's a reverence, a reverential fear. Holding God in awe, that is the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. That, that is the beginning of wisdom because as you 
begin, as you commence, as you grow, as you continue in reverencing God. You, the download of wisdom is yours, becomes yours. Do you want understanding? We were told, depart from evil. The second one is the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. And who is the Holy One then? In Luke chapter 1 verse 35, when the angel came to tell Mary, the virgin, that young girl, that she was going to carry a baby without even having known a man. That God by himself will put the seed in her and by the power of the Holy Spirit she will conceive. And it said there in that Luke 35, 135, that the, that the Holy Seed will be the Son of God. So the Holy One, by implication, is Jesus himself. Therefore, understanding is yours when you flee from evil, is yours when you know the Holy One. When you know Jesus, you have understanding of life. That is awesome because Jesus himself is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Everything that pertains to life is in him. Everything that pertains to truth is him because he is true. He is life. He is the way. You need to know where to go. Jesus is the way. Partner with him. And you have, you will have the understanding. If you choose to know him, you have the understanding of the things of life you hitherto now are confused about. Jesus Christ is also the wisdom of God. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24, it tells us, that Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God. Therefore, there, if you want light in the midst of darkness, you need wisdom, you need understanding. You might say, oh, but there are very wise people out there. You know, the wisdom of man is considered foolishness before God. The wisdom of the world is considered foolishness as well. Good. If God were ever to be foolish, the foolishness of God still does not compare, cannot. The foolishness of God is, equates to the wisdom of man. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 25, I believe. So at the end of the day, I desire, God desires that you be wise, that you walk this walk of life with wisdom. And that comes as you fear God. Do you know why? Because he downloads his mysteries to you. Because Christ Jesus, who is the wisdom of God, Reveal, is the revealer of what, by his spirit will reveal truth to you. He is the, that mystery that we need to fathom in life. You know, sometimes I'm in the midst of something, I say, oh, sweet Holy Spirit, give me wisdom. Help me understand what I need to do. Remember, I'm using the word wisdom and understanding now interchangeably. But they, they, they run hand in hand to get success. And the Bible tells us that the wise, that one who is wise is strong. Because ultimately, if you fear the Lord and you're walking in his wisdom, 
you're embracing the knowledge of the Holy One and have his understanding. And the Holy One is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is also the wisdom of God. You've got it all. You are then privy to the mysteries of this life. There's nothing hidden before you. I tell people that I can see things they don't see because of the wisdom of God. And God desires that you navigate life with your eyes open. And when I'm talking about your eyes open, it's not just the physical eyes. We're talking about your spiritual eyes because this life is spiritual. There's nothing that manifests in the physical that hasn't first been, been dealt with in the spiritual world. And therefore to walk victoriously, to win every battle, you need the wisdom and understand and you need wisdom and understanding that comes from the King of Kings and the Lord of Kings. That comes from knowing Jesus. And I want you, God wants you to walk in his good plans, to fulfill destiny and purpose by walking in wisdom and understanding. If you want to embrace true wisdom and true understanding, not the wisdom and the understanding of the world that is shallow and empty, pray after me. Welcome Jesus, who is wisdom and who is the beginning, who is understanding, into your life. And you commence an exciting journey. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. I believe that God rose you from the dead. I believe that the blood you shed on the cross washed away my sins. Forgive me for living my life without you up to now. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Give me the power to live for you. I renounce Satan and all his works. If you pray that prayer, you are now born again. You now, by virtue of inviting Jesus into your heart to be your Lord and Savior, open up your heart. You now have, you now can be said to be one who fears the Lord. Therefore, wisdom is yours. Wisdom is available for you to tap into. Because remember, Proverbs 9 verse 10 tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You've commenced. And the more, since you said that Jesus is the wisdom of God, the more you devour the word. This is the word of God, the Bible the more your wisdom increases, the more understanding increases. Why? Because you begin to depart from evil because you begin to walk in accordance with what this book says. And what this book says is what he says. Because Jesus is the word in the flesh. If you pray this prayer, send me a message and say, Pastor, okay, I prayed that prayer with you and I purpose to send you a Bible. Find a Bible-believing church where you can join, uh, join other believers to get to know this God. If you can't find somewhere, you're welcome to join us in Christ and Solomon Ministries International. We meet in homes, we meet online, we meet in, 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 in venues in cities in, in, in the city near you. And if you're in London, Stratford, Holiday Inn, on the High Street, you're welcome to join us. God bless you and continue walking in wisdom and understanding.